everybody dancing? I hope so. How you doing? Good to see you. How are you, my friends? My purple people. My purple people, how are you? <laughs> so uh, some of you were commenting that there was no audio uh, before, and that's because there is no audio on the coming soon, the starting soon thing. So uh, I'm sorry if that was confusing, but there's just, there's just no audio for that. Uh, maybe I'll make some. Maybe I'll add some, uh, you know, just to, so there's a little bit of something there. Just so you know that we've got our technical act sort of together, <laughs> which we don't always. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Uh, you know, there are some very real hazards to doing live streaming, ladies and gentlemen. No, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's really dangerous sometimes because, you know, for example, uh, before I do a live stream, I always like to to have, you know, like a little orange juice. You know, I like to drink a little bit of orange juice because it gives me some fructose and it helps my energy. And just before I, just before it came on, I had a nice big swig of orange juice and I put the bottle down and it splashed right in my eye. <laughs> so if my right eye is a little bit red, you'll know that's why the hazards of live streaming. Do not try this at home or do try this at home because, you know, it's fun. Everybody should try it. So let's see what we got going on here. Look at all these folks. Look at all these folks. Yes. Hey, Drew Pierce, how are you? Great to see you. Drew Pierce, one of the greats, one of the great Barney fans of all time. That is just a little bit, uh, a little bit small there, isn't it, that thing? I'll have to figure that out. I'll get that, get that resized for you. Um, so that everybody can read it a little bit better. Yes. Mmm. Yes. Orange juice. It's yummy. I love it. Yay. Hey, thanks for the stars, Kayla. You're very sweet. I appreciate you. Yes, you can, on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, you can uh, send me some stars, which helps to support me. And, you know, we've been on strike here for a long time. Some of you see my posts over on my my personal profile and I posted not too long ago that it's been, you know, 400 some days without any union works, which meant that I had to do freelance work. And so, you know, that has kept me afloat and I love my freelance clients. They've done such a great job of sending me work and not just as charity, but actual work. I love working with my freelance clients. So great. And Timothy Degas says, hi, Bob West. Hi, Timothy Degas. How are you? Great to see you as always. Hello, hello, hello to all these great folks. Yes, look. Oh, oh. Katie says, almost lost my coffee thanks to my ring light. <laughs> See, it's hazardous, isn't it? It's tough. Yes, indeed, it is. <laughs> what else we got going on here? Hey, Brandon, how are you? There's a lot of good smiley faces there. Including yours. Yours is a good smiley face. That's awesome. And J Jeff asks, do you remember seeing Scott Wilson and Carly? That's Carlisa McKinney. Yes, I worked with them on Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, Carlisa was uh, was Helen Henney and Scott was uh, Munch and, uh, and, and the man himself, the great rat, Mr. Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, lots of great folks here tonight. As always, here we go. Let's see. That's right. Oh, so Isaiah says, I heard the signings are returning next month. Yes, I've got another signing coming up uh, December the 10th. As a matter of fact, let me tell you all about that kind of stuff right now. Here's my streaming schedule for the holidays. Now, right now, you are in this one because it is November the 12th, and it's after 6 p.m. <laughs> so we've started on Planet Bob. Welcome to Planet Bob. I'll be your host for this evening. And then the next one coming up is on the 10th of December. That is when I'm going to be doing my live autograph signing for Streamily.com. And you can go and order stuff at Streamily.com slash Yes, That Bob West. Very nice. And uh, thank you very much for your orders. And we're, you know, I'm still uh, kind of waiting on some stuff from Streamily that I think they're really busy because of the holidays right now. So hopefully they'll be able to ship everything they need to ship to me. Um, and we'll get that. We'll get everything sent out to you, hopefully, on time. I can't make any, unfortunately, uh, I cannot make any guarantees for shipping for Christmas this time because we're having the signing on December the 10th, and uh, so it may or may not get there on 
uh, by Christmas. Sorry about that. But the next one is December 17th. Uh, that is my Christmas stream. And I will be doing the, the traditional thing, which is uh, reading the uh, Night Before Christmas, uh, the poem. And uh, maybe, you know, maybe something else. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, shake it up a little bit this time. Mix it up. Yes. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the very last day of the year, we're going to be doing New Year's Eve. And I hope uh, you can join me for that because that's that's always fun. It's always great. And we're going to be using the standard American thing of uh, the East Coast uh, time, like, you know, the ball drop. The ball drop in New York City. We're going to use that as our midnight so uh, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to start. It might be 8 or 8.30 p.m. on uh, Pacific Time on the 31st. So I will announce what that starting time is. And we'll get you rolling in your new year. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got, oh, who have we got? I am going to look for, oh, look, Bob Gerard Runkle. Hey, how are you? Great to see you. How are you? Oh, look, you and Sydney. Hi, Sydney. How are you? Great to see you. Bob has an excellent podcast that I have done. We have uh, we have connected in that way, and uh, he, he does great shows. Really, look look him up. He's awesome, DJ Bob. Let's see what else. What else do we have here? Um, we've got so many comments as always. <laughs> I have to scroll and scroll and scroll. Look at this, and then we've got. <laughs> and Nick says, Barney, Barney, Barney. And Barney says, Nick, Nick, Nick. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, how is everybody? I think you're all stupendous. <laughs> Great to see you. <laughs> all right. He's going to go back, back over to his chair <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> Just a bit, and um, let's see what uh, what other questions we have. I'm going to do a few, few more questions, and then we're going to move on. I have something really special for you tonight. Um, I'm calling this a world re premiere <laughs> because it's been seen, but it probably hasn't been seen anywhere since I think since 1993. Um, it's a, a promotional video that was done at the time. And I, I won't tell you too much about it right now. Just we'll, we'll give it a minute, and we'll we'll let you th see if you can figure out what it is. Maybe maybe some of you do. I don't. I look for it on YouTube, but it's not there. And I didn't really search around the rest of the net or anything to look for it. But I kind of don't think it's out there. Uh, so this could be the first time that pretty much anybody's seen this since 1993, which is pretty cool, pretty fun. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I said some more. Some more. Yes. Hey, Matt. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, look at this. Okay. So Matt says, Bob, did you get the chance to look at the new merch, the Barney merch from Emotionally Unavailable? Looks amazing. Uh, yeah, I've seen some of it, and it just basically it's very retro. It's perfect, like perfectly retro because it looks like they really pulled some of the original graphics from our t-shirts and stuff that we had back in the 90s and put them on t-shirts. So they're kind of reproducing the the merchandise that was from back then and not, you know, doing brand new stuff that I know of. Although they do have a plush, a plushie, and uh, he looks pretty cool. He's a very, very tiny little guy, like about the size, uh, kind of about this size, maybe a little, a little bit smaller than this, which is a kind of a pocket-sized Barney. Everybody needs a Barney in their pocket, right? Right. So, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to look at all that stuff and uh, and see what you know. Of course, the choice Mattel choosing a company to uh, to to do merch called un emotionally unavailable is so perfectly ironic for Barney because Barney is like the most emotionally available being who has ever lived. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. I'm into irony. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. Here's somebody who's into irony. Hi, Nikki Price. <laughs> I don't know what that means. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Good to see everybody here. All these great peoples. All these lovely peoples here. So many lovely peoples. All my purple peoples. 
<laughs> Good to you. It's great to see everybody talking to each other in the chat. I love to see that. Love, love, love to see that. We have such a great community. And people are making making friends here. Me, people are making friends, making friends like Brandon too. Hey, how are you? Good to see you, buddy. Lots of buddies. Lots of Barney buddies. So awesome. <laughs> Kayla says, I want a pocket-sized Barney so bad. <laughs> you, you may get your chance when Emotionally Available starts, uh, starts selling their merchandise. It's... You know, I don't know uh, exactly when and where they're going to start selling, but it's going to be, it's going to be available soon, I guess. Um, there is I, something I didn't really prepare anything for, but there is a, a, a convention. It's um, not really a pop culture convention so much as a kind of a, a, a hip branding convention, and that's going to be in the LBC, and that would be Long Beach, uh, and that's going to be next Sunday. And uh, there are going to be some folks there. Uh, our so many great people are going to be there uh, to represent, I think. And uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I hear that the original, well, not the original, but some Barney costume that looks like, you know, the PBS costume, the most recent OG costume, is going to be there. And I, I, I guess they're going to be taking pictures. That's pretty awesome. I think that's going to be on Saturday. So... That's pretty, pretty fun. Aha! Drew Pierce, someone who does his research, says the Emotionally Unavailable merch is hitting on the 18th. So that's soon. That's only six days away. That's awesome. As a matter of fact, the 18th, I think, is the day of, uh, that's Saturday, the day of the convention where Barney is going to be there. So that's going to be the big announcement, I think. And, uh, oh, so many great people here. Let's see. All right, I'm going to look for, <laughs> oh, hey, Joey, how are you? Uh, Joey asks, have you ever met the Wiggles before? I have not met the Wiggles. The Wiggles, um, there was a, a, a kind of a cooperative thing, a collaborative thing between Barney and the Wiggles, as I recall, but I believe that was after I left. And I don't think the Wiggles were on the Character Counts um, programming that we did, the videos and such. So no, I haven't. I haven't met them. I would love to meet them sometime. Would love to. Also, another question about. We have a question about appearances and such. And Blake asks. One question I have is: When you were doing live appearances, live talk shows and stuff, where were you usually backstage? And that's a great. Uh, that's a great question. Um, most of the time, like when we would do the Today Show or we would do something like, you know, Donahue or Oprah or something like that, there would be a, uh, a voiceover booth that they would have that's just part of their studios and they would have it all connected up and I would see the program, what's going on out, out, to, the, out to air, as they say, or, or on the bird to the satellites. And uh, I would see that and I would hear the program audio so I could hear Oprah or I could hear whoever the, the host was and uh, the music and all the, that kind of stuff and so I'd have a microphone and I'd have that all set up and I could hear and see pretty much everything and then whoever's in the costume would have their headphones on and then they could hear program which would include me so they could sync up with me and uh, that's how we did that uh, every once in a while I did I would be like on stage, but off to one side, and I tell a story about <laughs> I tell a story about that. The very first time we did the, the, the Today Show in the studio, uh, I was on stage, uh, on the sound stage, and Barney wasn't out there yet. I was just kind of waiting around for things to things to happen because we were supposed to be in the next segment. And uh, you, stop me if you've heard this before, and everybody stops me. <laughs> but the director decided to bring Barney out from the green room. And here comes Barney, and I don't have a microphone. <laughs> Oops. So I go over to the stage manager, and I, I hit him, and I go, a microphone. <laughs> and, he, and he just looks like the look on his face is great. Just jumps, and he runs over to the cabinet, this cabinet, and he opens it up, and he pulls out a, a radio mic, a little, uh, you know, a, uh, a wireless mic that you put onto yourself. And he, he literally threw it to me, and it was like slow motion. It's, it's coming through the air. 
and he's talking into his headset to the audio mixer and going, Barney's, Barney's voice is on RF-13, RF-13. I actually remember <laughs> the number, the channel number, the mic number. And, and so just as I, as I got the mic in my hands and I held it up to my face, Barney walks in <laughs> and starts to talk. And one of those things, live national television. <laughs> That's why I, I just love doing live stuff. That, I mean, it's like doing live theater, only the audience is really large. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun and kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, lots of adrenaline involved there. Let's see, what else have we going, oh, got going on here? Favorite? Let's see, favorite? Hmm. I'm going to look for... Uh-huh. <laughs> Matt says, we need you to spill the tea. <laughs> spill the OJ in this case. Yes, very good point. Was, <laughs> was, there, uh, was there your least favorite moment on set or on the road? Oh, wow, that's an interesting question. I'd have to think about that. I mean, there were so many great moments. We didn't have a lot of bad things happen when we were on the road. I mean... You know, we had some technical difficulties sometimes, and we just had to wing it. But that's just all part of doing the, you know, doing the live thing. It's just all part of all part of our gig, you know, and uh, and it's part of the challenge, and it's one of the things that we love. Although I have to say that again, I've told this story before. Uh, there was a press conference for announcing announcing. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've actually shown this before. There's a here's here's another world premiere here. Uh, making noise in the mic, probably. Um, but uh, there was a press conference for Barney's Great Adventure where we announced that the movie was going to be going into production. And there was uh, there were some people from the press there. And there was one guy who was just really, really trying to get Barney mad, really trying to get my goat, right? And he just kept going and going and going and going. And, and you know, and finally he just got so frustrated, he said, Barney, I, I'm just trying to get you to say a crossword. And, and Barney says, crossword? I love those puzzles. So. <laughs> so, yes. So here is something, again, that probably hasn't been seen since back in the day. Look at this. Look at that. Prepare for purple. That is the press pass from that aforementioned press conference isn't that awesome it's the same on both sides very exciting <laughs> but yeah i i love all these things i keep i keep opening up old boxes there's just like a never-ending stash of old boxes and i just keep opening them up and there's more more goodies inside and it's it's such so awesome uh to see all these uh these great memories and nick asks bob west is this your only shirt no, it's not. But this is my ceremonial shirt <laughs> for when I'm doing the Barney thing, when I'm doing uh, personal appearances and stuff. This is, I don't always wear this when I'm doing personal appearances and streaming and stuff. Sometimes I'll wear it. There's a black shirt that I wear too that's just like this, except it's black, <laughs> which, is, which is very cool, but I tend to blend too much into the background. You know, everything's dark back there, so... But, uh, but yeah, but there, I have like four of these because some conventions last four days and I want to have four of them so I don't have to, you know, worry about washing a shirt or something like that. So, all right. <laughs> so what else, what else have we got going on? Well, you know what, since we've had the, the, the world premiere of that press pass, that impromptu world premiere, why don't we have the world re-premiere of this video. Now, I'm going to I'm going to premise this and say, okay, if you're into Barney history and you like, you know, Barney uh, trivia and and being being in the know on stuff that nobody else does know, there was an event that we held to announce the arrival of, the creation of uh, BJ, and we did this at 
Shea Stadium, of all places. Shea Stadium, where the Beatles played. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> we did this amazing event. It was fun. I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't full. Of, the stands weren't full of people. It was our little crowd and stuff. But without further ado, this is, ladies and gentlemen, a day at Shea with BJ. Now, there's the audio is hit and miss here because I had to mute a bunch of it. Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh. Hi, Facebook. baby Bob! Yay. I'm so glad you could be here with us today. <laughs> me too, Barney. <laughs> I brought two friends with me today, and I just know they would <laughs> love to sing a song with us. Oh, great! <laughs> All right, so this is, first you take the peanuts and you crunch them and crunch them. I had to cut all this out because of Facebook. Oh, they would probably oh, mute me. Yeah. That was, they would probably that mute this. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to beautiful Shea Stadium. On the field today, we've got two exceptional teams. He sounds familiar. Introducing first, the New York Pal Team. Elephant's right. That was Carol Fairview. That was Stunt Bob. And coming all the way from Allen, Texas, <laughs> the Barney Team. Yay! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today you'll be seeing the finish of the big baseball game that started yesterday. So I'd like for them to come out and take a bow. Dennis DeShazer. There he is. Dennis DeShazer. Oh. Cheryl Leach. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Oh, his mom. Yeah. Oh, Kathy Parker. Kathy Parker. Come on, Kathy. Oh. The graders. <laughs> and now. And now, here's Tasha. Let's hope. Yay, Tasha. <laughs> and Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Mr. High Energy. <laughs> John Green. And all, and all these great people that you may not know the names of. Sissy Unzaldua. All these folks who work behind the scenes. Yeah. Public relations, <laughs> and et cetera. Debbie Reese. Marketing. And Reese. <laughs> Beth Ryan. And Beth Ryan, she was the head of, uh, head of PR for a while. Mike Doll. This is so great. I, just, I found this and, I, and I, I freaked out. I just love it so much. Martha Lipscomb. <laughs> Kathy Schumack. Yay! Yay! And Sloane Coleman. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, that's our team. <laughs> Please rise and join us in singing our national anthem. So I got to say that at Chase Stadium. That's pretty cool. And then they played the national anthem. And now let's play ball. <laughs> First in the batting order for the Barney team is Tasha, we'll see if the Barney team has what it takes to win this game in the bottom of the ninth. Team manager <laughs> Barney is flashing the signs. Tramo winds up. And let's go. Oh, oh. strike one. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay, Tasha. You're just warming up. <laughs> okay, and here it comes. Oh, strike two on Tasha. No. Oh, not a problem, no problem. It's off and no. Oh. Strike three, Tasha is out. You know, but she's still smiling. Oh, that's okay, Tasha. <laughs> Here comes Sean up to the plate. <laughs> Yay, Sean! 
Yay! Oh, what a swing. That was a big swing. Oh, well, that was strike one on Sean. That's bigger than he is. Tramo's really hot tonight. Oh, what a swing. <laughs> well, strike two on Sean. Here's Tremo's next pitch, and oh, strike three! No. And it's, it's looking down. like their dream of a big win today this may be over in three more pitches. I wonder who I should put in the game at this key moment. Wait a minute, I've got it. I'll use our super D duper top secret brand new all-star player. <laughs> and who could it be? Oh, wait. What's that sound? Oh, boy! Oh, ho. look out on the field. Here comes Barney's surprise pinch hitter. Let's give him a big Shea Stadium welcome. This is cool. There he is. It's my brother. That's who it is. It's Colby J. <laughs> Presenting the newest member of the Barney team, Baby Bop's big brother, BJ. <laughs> he steps up to the plate. And here it is. Oh, strike one. Oh, man. I can do better than that. Okay, oh, don't do let it. it worry you, BJ. There's plenty of game left. Okay. Here's a wind up, the pitch. Oh, strike two. Oh, no. And BJ has left the batter's box. Uh oh. He appears to be pretty unhappy about missing that last pitch. Hmm. What's the matter, BJ? I don't know if I can do this, Barney. I mean, I'm not really a big baseball player. Hmm. Oh, but you could be someday. And for right now, you can just use your imagination. Really? Sure. Now get up there and just have some fun. Oh, here goes. Here, BJ. Oh, Come it on, BJ. looks like Baby Pop is giving BJ his favorite bat. Excellent. Maybe it's just lucky. And he steps back up to the plate for the Barney team. Here we go. And Big so it all comes down to one last pitch. Come on, BJ. With two outs on, and two strikes in the bottom of the ninth. Come with on. the score all tied up 2-2. And here it comes. Ho! Oh, and it's going, going, it's gone! <laughs> you love that? It's a home run. I'm right beside it over there. Congratulations! <laughs> That's so funny. Ladies oh, and man. gentlemen, I've it. never seen anything like it. <laughs> that baseball is headed for another time zone. So, turn down the sound a little bit. feel to be the newest member of a the, winning the, team. The music. It I don't feels, think the music is. It feels terrific. <laughs> Why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay, okay. if you and Sissy will help me. <laughs> sure! Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and this is his song. BJ is my name, but I can't play it. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can put up an unedited version of this on YouTube or something where it, it might work. It. I'm not positive. Yeah. Yay, BJ! Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm so glad you could come. <laughs> And now you are special. That's what they sing. And, and so it looks like a whole new ball game with <laughs> Barney, Baby Bop, and now BJ, all members of the Barney team. Yay. Oh, but there are lots of other people on the Barney team. In fact, Everyone who believes in the wonder of childhood and the magic of imagination is on the team. That's right. Wave your hand if you're on the team. Use your imagination. Wave your hand if you're on the team. Yeah, that means you're on the team if you use yeah. imagination. Yes. And now there's a very Everyone special song hands that and I have sing to. Along. I have to mute, unfortunately, but.
I think you know the words. <laughs> We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. It was a kind of a slow version. You love me too. <laughs> Wish I could play it. This is so much fun. We were doing autographs, uh, not autographs, but pictures with people, folks who came. You love me. We're best friends like friends should be. <laughs> There's Dennis. <laughs> Singing the words. <laughs> hey, Kathy. That's so awesome. And the folks who came, this is uh, mostly families, I think, of uh, employees. And so the kids came and got to meet these new, <laughs> this new character. <laughs> you are on the team. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> Was that fun or what? I, I have to tell you, I just, I just, I just really, um, you know, I love running across these things in, in old boxes. I really do. Uh, I, I, I can't tell you how fun it is to relive all these memories. But yeah, that was 30 years ago. If you think about it, it was, it's amazing. 1993, right? Just incredible. Look at all these great people here. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was stupendous. That's right. Yay! Sky says, you made my entire night. Thank you. I'm glad I could. I'm glad we could. I'm glad Barney could. So, uh, yeah, this, I mean, so good. And Bob Singleton, musical director, he, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very sure that he was the one who did all the, the songs that you heard. We sang, as, a, as I recall, I think we also sang uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and he did the arrangement of the national anthem and uh lots of lots of other all the other music that you heard um since those particular tracks were the, from what i know those particular traps tracks except for one of them um didn't make it into any episodes they're probably not covered by the copyright protection robots <laughs> so i hear that the audio survived <laughs> and that that we're still getting out on on Facebook, so that's good. I uh, I'm I'm glad that I was able to um, to <laughs> to get that muted properly to protect the video. So hopefully, I yes. Um, here's the question: uh, Is there any way that you can post it with the songs? That's a really great great question. And what I have to do is kind of research whether those songs are protected or not. And what I might do is I might try to put it up on YouTube uh, in a private post so that it's not public and just kind of hope that there's not a, a takedown order. And those takedown orders happen pretty quickly because the, you know, the big companies, the, the, recording, uh, the rec recording labels and that sort of thing, they have robots that just wander the, you know, wander the web and as a matter of fact they probably have an agreement with youtube and youtube sets up it's like they i think they upload songs to youtube in a certain way and youtube just looks for them as they're being posted so i you know i hope that um i hope that that's not gonna you know it wouldn't be taken down but if it's taken down uh hopefully they won't give me a copyright strike and they give me you know a week's notice because you can do that uh, somebody actually posted one of my videos uh, fairly recently, and uh, I found out about it through my channel. My channel shows me copyright violations, people posting my stuff. And so I have to remind everybody that this is content that, you know, that I'm creating, of course, with the, the exception of that particular video. And so... Uh, if you ever want to repost any portion of it, you'll need to ask me first so that you can avoid, you know, the copyright takedown. But what I do is if somebody reposts something of mine uh, without, without permission, I always contact them first. And if I don't hear from them, then I'll do a the one week scheduled takedown, which means that YouTube sends you a notice and you have a week to take down. And then if you don't, then they'll take it down. But this way, hopefully you won't get any copyright strikes, but that's a really rare problem, really rare problem. So, um, I want to, well, here's, here's the thing. Um, this question right here, uh, 
YouTube is being unfair with copyright issues when we know it's only for entertainment purposes. See, that's the thing is, if it, even if it is for entertainment purposes, it's still copyright, and that's the way the law works. So they're not being unfair. Um, there are people who, you know, there's that thing that people put up that say, I don't own this content, and it's just for entertainment purposes. That phrase, that wording and stuff that, that those people put up, it means absolutely nothing <laughs> in terms of legal stuff. It doesn't mean anything. People got this idea that all they had to do was put up this wording, and it would be okay. And that's just not true, unfortunately. But it's okay because, you know, it's important to, it's important to protect people's property, right? Very, prop, very, uh, very important to do that. And, uh, and so if you make a video, you don't want somebody else to put it up and say, oh, it's just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Excuse me. It was my lunch, I think. Because you don't, want, you don't want somebody else to be making money off of your stuff, right? That's the way it works. So we have to protect, we have to honor the laws and honor the, the copyright thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to, it's, it's, that's the thing is you have to, if you get copyright strikes, then you're putting up other people's property. And you have to make sure that you understand that you really need to put up your own stuff. You have to create your own stuff. And uh, that's the way, that's the way to do it. Now, there is a, there is a phrase called uh, fair use, and which is totally misunderstood, very misunderstood. Uh, fair use has to do with um, parody, with uh, educational purposes, with um, satire or, or critique, and those things. And so it's really hard. You have to kind of know where the line is there and it's and it's hard to do um and even if you do claim fair use you can only use like five or six seconds of something before it becomes unfair use so lots of really interesting and complicated things going on with with uh with all that stuff <laughs> lots of folks talking about copyrights there you go well, here's, here's what Jose says. It has to be original. You should do your own original thing. That's, that's the thing. Be a creator. Create your own stuff. Um, that, would, um, that would definitely keep you from having any uh, copyright strikes. Uh, let's see. Well, I, you know, I would, I would say hi, but it would help if there's a name. Oh, Reese, I see the Reese. I see the name now. Reese. Hello, Reese. How are you? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Good to see you. It's great to meet you. Oh, I'm a little fuzzy. There we are. There I am. Hi. <laughs> hey, how about a big group hug, everybody? Including Reese. What do you say? Here we go. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. You're such great huggers. Oh, oh boy. You too, buddy. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. He's a great, he's a great roommate. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. What else we got here going on? Yes, we have to, I, I do want to make sure that everybody knows. Uh, I've had this, this question several times and I did mention her, but yeah, Carol Farabee, also known, known as Stunt Bop, <laughs> was the voice of Baby Bop for this because uh, Julie was not available. And uh, <laughs> and so, let's see. Everybody asks about her here. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, this is, here's a good question. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Daniel asks, is that the event you spoke about on Purple Roads where Carol Farabee, voice of Baby Bob, had her earrings that were clanking over the speakers? And yes, this is that event. <laughs> if Carol's watching, I love you, Carol. <laughs> but in, in the audio, I went in, you know, I took this, this was a VHS tape that I found, and I, had, and I digitized it, and I did all kinds of stuff to clean it up. Boy, did I need to clean up the audio in general. Uh, it was, the levels were all off, the playback was really low, and the voiceover was really loud, and so and I had to clean up the color and sharpen it up a bit, but 
there, there was one time when Baby Bop arrives and she says, I know they would just love to sing a song with us. Well, Carol's left earring hit the microphone twice when she was saying that phrase. So you can't hear it there because I went in and did a very some very careful audio editing. <laughs> but it was there in the original tape. Uh, I'm going to try to again. I'm going to try to put this up and uh, and I there. I promise Carol there will be no earring clicks in there. <laughs> so yes. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to look for something here. Do 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 do. do. Yes, good point. Thank you. Yes, YouTube can be a bit stressful, understandably, but it's a necessity for those who work so hard on their craft to be able to have their things protected. It's really important. You know, it's, it's basically theft. I mean, it's intellectual property is property. And when something is copyrighted or trademarked, then it is called intellectual property. So we need to, uh, we need to respect other people's property. That's just the way it goes. Um, and I think that, uh, I think everybody, I think everybody understands that. Uh, so what else did I want to say? Any other questions we have right now? Because, you know, I mean, what, what else do I do after that? How, <laughs> what, what, how do I follow that up? That's a tough act to follow, that video. So yeah, I'm going to try very hard to put that, put that uh, on, um, on YouTube, and we'll, we'll see what happens. i can't make any guarantees and I'll try to put it on YouTube with the songs in it. If I can't do that, then I'll try to put up a, a muted version like this one. So, uh, who else? Hmm. Hmm. Information about, uh, uh, there are some questions here about history and things that, uh, if you have a very specific, if you have a more specific question, I may be able to, may be able to, uh, answer. Uh, there were also, again, as, as I mentioned last time I did a behind-the-scenes video, um, there, were, uh, there are very few bits of, uh, of behind-the-scenes behind the video that I can show because they just don't exist. I mean, it's interesting, too. At one point, you know, we went on the road. We went to England. We went to Ireland. And uh, we went to... Uh, uh, Australia later. And when we got to Australia, uh, I, I discovered that my camera equipment had all been stolen at the airport by the baggage handlers. Yeah. And lots of video was in there from like the trip to England and a video and some photos. So I don't have very much in the way of photos and, and, uh, and video. But, you know, from, from that particular trip, but, uh, but I managed to get some, some, uh, you know, some new, so I actually managed to rent some camera equipment in Australia. So I got a little bit of stuff there, but I had, uh, you know, I had a great camera and, um, but I took the opportunity to upgrade to a mini DV camera, which is, was my first digital camera. It's digital video. It's not like a. It was like digital on tape. So that's the, the stuff that you've seen here previously. Some of it is going to be that kind of that kind of stuff. But my point is, me digressing as usual, my point is that I, I was without a video camera for a while and then had to buy one. Plus, we were just so busy making the show that we didn't get a lot of video, you know. Uh, we did, as... Dennis DeShazer and I have commiserated. We've, we've just kind of regretted not getting lots more video, um, behind the scenes video. Uh, and again, I need to, I need to talk to Stephen White, Mr. Stephen White, see what he's got. We need to get together. Um, <laughs> here's a great question. Can Barney do a backflip? That's a great question. Huh? Let's see. A backflip. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, let me see. All right. You're still stupendous. <laughs> How was <is> that? <laughs> yeah, he's doing aerobatics now. He's an acrobat. 
Oh, my goodness. All right. So, all right. So, we've got some folks asking again what uh, the streaming schedule is. Kelsey's asking. And I went over that earlier, but here it is again. Uh, today is the 12th. We're doing Planet Bob. And then Sunday, December 10th is the next Streamily signing. The December 17th is the Christmas stream. And then uh, the 31st is New Year's Eve. And I am going to try to to do another Planet Bob between now and the end of the year. Maybe two if I get really ambitious. <laughs> so those are the dates for now. And I uh, hope to see you at all of them. Love to you. Let's see. Whoops. Good. It's on your calendar. Thank you, Carrie. Hope to see you there. Uh, Michael asks, is there a lesser known character you've performed that you enjoyed that others may not know about? Uh, that's a really great question. Um, I, I would say that probably most of it, uh, most of the characters, the other characters I've done have been for commercials. And, you know, created lots of characters for commercials. <laughs> lots of accents and di- dialects and all kinds of all kinds of different characters. Lots of comedy dialogue commercials, radio commercials. Boy, back in the 80s and the 90s, comedy dialogue radio commercials were everything. It was just a huge thing. It was huge. And I was I was working, I was doing three generally between one and five recording sessions every week for commercials. It was it was wild. I had one time, I I'm sure I've told this story before, but I I had one day when I did a recording session in Dallas, and then, thank you, Southwest Airlines, in Dallas, and then flew to Houston, then flew to Austin, and did a session in Houston, did a session in Austin, and then flew back to Dallas again. And I can't remember if I did a fourth session in Dallas or not. I I think it was just three sessions, but three cities, three recording sessions in one day, that's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Oh my goodness. (laughs) <laughs> here we go Would, wouldn't it be cool if you have barney pjs i you know that sounds cool to me everybody used to have them although i think the barney pjs that uh that you know that were made did not come in adult sizes maybe they'll make barney maybe emotionally un- unavailable will make adult size barney pjs that would be awesome <laughs> i would love that that would be great. That would be so awesome. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here's uh, John Phelps asking. Uh, do you plan to get any more rare photos for Streamily autographs? Excellent question, John. Um, I have not had time to go through my photos and find anything new. But I, I do plan on adding some when I can, when I find something. Um, I'm so uh, caught up in doing other stuff that, uh, that I haven't, (laughs) that I haven't had a chance to do that particular thing. Boy, is it, you know, I have such a to-do list right now. And I just took some time off, um, for the first time in ages. (laughs) And I'm going to be really busy this week catching up with, with my clients. Um, so, so yeah, um, it's going to (laughs) be, it's going to be fun. Oh, look. Oh, Kayla. Kayla gave me some stars again. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your stars, folks. So, well, listen, I uh, think that I am going to leave you all at that. And just a reminder, uh, there is Streamily, streamily.com slash yes, that Bob West. And you can order your stuff there, your photos and everything. And uh, hopefully I will have, I mean, I've got the Barney Manga poster in the store right now available. I don't have the prints yet. I'm hoping they'll be here any moment now so that we can get those signed and get those to you. And again, I can't really guarantee that everything will be delivered by Christmas, but but we'll try. Um, my next, uh, Streamily had, Streamily has suggested this December 10th for my next uh, streaming signing. So that's what I took, and I'm not sure that I, not sure that I can, uh, that we can get, make guarantees on shipping. But, um, but then also I want to say, uh, I have been off of Cameo for a while. I've been taking a break, but as soon as I sign off here, I'm going to turn Cameo back on. So if you want a 
a custom video shout out for yourself or for someone else for any occasion, maybe it's just a pep talk, maybe a happy birthday, maybe a wedding or something, then please go to cameo.com slash yes, that Bob West. This one, that, that one, this one, <laughs> and not just my head, all of me. And then of course, uh, if you're on Facebook, hit like and hit the, you know, notifications thing. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe and get notifications. And if you're on Twitch, hit follow and get notifications. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate you. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did because I had I had a great time watching that video. And uh, we'll see what happens if we can get that up on YouTube with the songs. I can't make any promises, but we'll we'll do our best. All right. Take care, everybody. Love you lots. And I will see you soon. Bye.